welcome again dear students let's understand today punctuation marks let's start with capital letter and full stop notes this sentence the girl is playing the piano so dear students every sentence each and every sentence dear student it starts with a capital letter here this sentence ends with a full stop why it ends with a full stop because this sentence here clearly states what the girl is doing that is why we end it with a full stop so this we can say a sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop so dear students let me tell you one more point the pronoun i is always written in a capital letter wherever it appears okay let's give an example Anit and I are brothers. Now you can look this very pronoun I. So it is written in capital letter. So dear student, one more point. A proper noun is always, a proper noun always begins with a capital letter also. Look at this example again. She gave the book to Kamlish. Kamlish is here a proper noun. So it starts, it begins with a capital letter. Okay. So let's understand question mark now. So dear students, when you are when you are having a sentence that is a question that asks a question um, that uh, their very sentence ends with a question mark you can look at this example how many cookies did you eat so this is here a question so it ends with a question mark so we put question mark here so this is a sentence that asks a question and is with a question mark okay so let's give some more examples what color is the dog so here it ends with a question mark again another example will you play with me so here it also ends with a question mark so let's understand comma so look at this example first my favorite fruits are apple and banana so dear students in the sentence there are only two items that is apple and banana so we are using and to separate these very two items but the point here is well, dear students when you are having more than two items in a sentence at that time we use comma to separate those very items just as in this very sentence my favorite fruits are apple banana and strawberry so we are using comma okay between these two between these uh, items okay so dear students we can say comma is used to separate three or more words in a list so dear students we also use comma uh, before um, after introductory words such as uh, yes no well hello okay so let's give an example so the concept is clear here the word hello it is an introductory word so after it we use comma okay so dear students comma is also used uh, for giving a short pause in a sentence look at this sentence a lot of people young and old rich and poor met the saint so we are using here comma to give a short pause in a sentence so let's understand exclamation mark look at these very two examples wow what a cute baby one more example a loss the cat is dead so we are using here exclamation mark at the end of a sentence and before these two words alas and woe okay so dear student now we can say we use exclamation mark when you are expressing your emotions okay we use exclamation mark at the end of a word or a sentence to show strong feelings such as surprise anger or joy so thanks for watching this video dear students take care of yourself a lot